Yeah. The Mavericks are due for a rebranding. They've been talking about it for a few years. Obviously, we're like three full years now past post Dirk era. You gotta you think about these things. You got like AD, BC. Well, we're PD here, post Dirk era. And uh it's surprising that they haven't already done a rebranding. Cuban's been talking about it for years. They had like that little contest at one point where fans got to enter design their Jersey uniform and uh, the Mavericks would pick one as like their city edition that year. That was the 2018 skyline Jersey. And I, I liked the introdu- uh, the inclusion of the skyline. The initial unveiling was a little iffy just because like they somehow, even though it was, a press conference to show the Jersey. They found a way to like, not put like the, the ball on reunion tower. So people are like, that's not the Dallas skyline. What is that? And it's just like, how do you miss that detail? You're, you're the Dallas team, but uh, you know, they've, they've tried some different stuff here and there, but I, I definitely think they're due for a rebrand at this point. And what I'm interested in, what do you think, what is your opinion on possibly working a little bit of green back into those jerseys? Uh, I don't mind the green, but let's not get carried away with it. Yeah, I'm not That's saying go opinion. full Celtics green yeah, yeah, or anything. Yeah, no, 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 I know that. I'm just saying, just like in bits and pieces, um, I don't know. I have to look. Because uh, like I'm right looking, now, the... I'm looking at some of those jerseys right now. You know, yeah. With flex off and on. Um, like I'm right now, really, the Celtics and green guy. Bucks have real. green. Mm-hmm. Those are really the like only that. two. I don't like that green in the Hawks, though. In the Hawks? Real. Oh, you're talking about throwbacks? Some... Yeah, like yeah, 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 like that yeah, neon. Yeah, yeah, that's ugly. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I, I think uh, I'm intrigued with bringing green back, but as an accenting color. Mm-hmm. I think you can find a way to do that. Um, like I like I was saying, the Celtics and Bucks are the only two teams currently using green the Charlotte slash new Orleans Hornets had like a teal for a while, but even that kind of transformed more to blue. Mm-hmm. Um, and now, you know, new Orleans rebranded the Pelicans and now, so they're like red Navy and like a goldish kind of hue. Uh, so very different there. There's not a lot of green. The Sonics were obviously green. That's, that's mm-hmm. really it. Like green is just not a, a common branding color And Cuban. I'm pretty sure even said, green it was a twitter interaction but i'm pretty sure he said that uh green was not going to be the core color of whatever rebranding they do and that's that's fine and you know if they do the thing like they they did uh was it as recently as last year every five years they bring back the 88 season green Mm -hmm. uniform i love those i love those i'm 88 guys so i'm yeah i definitely rock those as long as they bring those back Mm-hmm. every five those years classics. yes hardwood classics as long as they bring those back every five years i'm cool with that i will i'm fine with that that's enough for me as far as like heavy involvement of green um but i you know for me what's nostalgic when they initially did the rebranding was the 0102 season was the first season they had the current maverick logo and everything mm-hmm. i was always a fan of the road unis they had then when it was navy blue with like silver and white and like they had a they had in that case the the royal blue which is now like the predominant um maverick blue is on those it was the accenting color so it was like heavy navy with like the uh dallas was like silver across the chest and the numbers were white and then you had like streaking kind of a like the maverick royal blue accenting down the sides like that was what they had before i liked those a lot i would not mind and on the screen here that people will see whenever this posts we're not live so you won't see it right Right. now but uh i've got the i think this was the icon uniform is what they had this year though the navy blue that just says mavericks across the chest um that's you know a navy blue like that but if you did something where you had kind of that green and the accenting uh, thing down the side, similar to the very small usage that those 0102 unis used. I think mm-hmm. you could have something intriguing there. Um, I'll probably add something to the community chat. I saw a couple concepts that I really liked. Um, I don't have them pulled up here. Otherwise I would throw them on the screen now, but uh, I'm, 
I'm interested in it. And I've even, I used to not like it. I'm kind of open to the idea of finding some way to include, at least as a secondary logo, the OG Don Carter cowboy hat M. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would not mind seeing that make a comeback again. It's always on those every five years, hardwood classics, but, uh, I don't know. I think they need to do something different. If they want to keep the horse predominantly, that makes sense. That's fine. But they definitely need to change it up. And I, I think at this point, Cuban's been talking about it for like three or four years. And he just doesn't seem like he's in much of a rush to do it. <laughs> and it's like, we're in a decidedly new era and the team is actually really good again. If you were going to do it, it would make sense to do it now. When a new coach, you just came off the uh, Western Conference you know, finals, Mm -hmm. uh, why wouldn't you jump right all in and just say, Hey, we coming strong next year. We come with the new rebrand It get you more excited because there's a buzz right now with the Mavericks, um, because of what happened and you got kid. And so there's the buzz. So if you got that buzz and Mark Cuban, you know, you a businessman, you should be feeding right off this buzz and jump right on it. Um, but once again, yeah, let's get them 88 Mavericks uh, jerseys up in there, though, here and there, because I, I forgot. You know, I was like, dang, you know, I remember 88. I was I was uh, freaking a sophomore <laughs> in high school. And them greens, I'm just looking at with Roy Tarpley because he was yep. such a dog with, with Dallas. I was just watching him with them greens. And they just had them classic battles. Now, I, I'm, I know it's a little off topic, but, hey, we're just talking mm-hmm. right quick. But I remember them Mavericks, Lakers battles. Mm-hmm. There was the only dudes, man, that just was in the way. Because for real, if the if the if the Lakers weren't in the way in them years when Mount uh, Dallas had them squads, yep. Dallas got more some, some more championships. They could, yep. And they uh, they real. got all the way to we Game Seven squad. in '88. Yep, we had squad mm-hmm. <laughs> players. You feel me? My goodness, all that talent that was on there. Like I just go back and look at it: Mark Aguirre, Orlando Blackman, Derek Harper. Mm-hmm. Brad Davis, mm-hmm. um, uh, John, I mean, uh, James Donaldson, that left shrimp, that left shrimp, dog. Yeah. You feel me? Um, the oh, greatest Randall German S- player in NBA history prior you to feel Dirk. Me? And he was just coming up when he come off bench, like, bro, like they had so much talent, man. I, I, mm, I I'm sad right now because daggone Magic Johnson. Yep. <laughs> yep. Game seven, got got all the way to game seven and then uh, got knocked out. But yeah, I would like to see, I'd like to see at least as a secondary color or accenting color, a little bit of green, give, give just that little bit. You don't got to get all fancy with it. Like they tried too hard a couple of years ago when they had like the whites with silver and gold. That was, that was weird. That yeah. was, that, that's them, that's them 2022 babies. They, these young people, kids want to get all wild with it that's it's like the white power worried. ranger <laughs> yeah dog it's like that's what i was worried about ddp was when i said green mm-hmm. because they won't put the right type of green you know what i'm saying they put the weird green it's like come on man. i mean we all know like i get it they tried the white ranger thing but we all know the green rangers better anyway just just right. go with that <laughs> stop trying to try stop trying to do too much they do too much in these day and age that's the problem right they won't be too futuristic with it and it messes it up yeah, I mean that's kind of the case with like all sports trends right now, especially For like real? college football is insane. Uh, yeah. Everyone's trying to be Oregon. It was bad enough when it was just Oregon, but I like I like the more traditional uniforms there. But even still, we'll see what Dallas does. I'm mm-hmm. I like uh, some of the stuff they played around with, but I think they're also overcomplicating it. If you want to use the skyline, all right. If if that's like a variant you know now you don't have just two uniforms like you used to you got like four or five you got like the home the away the icon the hardwood classic the city edition like it's just like it's overcomplicated as is but like if you want to have one of those have the skyline cool i'm fine with that that's that's cool but uh i I think they definitely need to shake something up and they should just get on it because it's already been too long We're, we're getting tired of waiting Tired of waiting, get it together, man. So, Mark Cuban, like we said, man, you see the rave, you see the excitement right now is in the air. Why not capitalize off mm-hmm. of it? You can get more money too. Uh, ain't nothing wrong with getting more money, Mark Cuban. So, you know, you like that bread. 
So jump on this and make it happen, but just don't get weird with it. Don't get to 2022, 20, 2027 20, with it. Just be normal with it and make it hot. You feel me? Yep. Throw, throw a little old school in there. It's okay. Don't forget about the old school. 